Hey, Kipsters, it's Mr. Negron again. Uh, this, I believe, is our sixth video, Dividing Decimals, Part 1, which tells you that our seventh video is Dividing Decimals, Part 2. You've seen this screen like six times. Don't get sick of it yet. Need to be memorized. You need to know your place names, what they look like, how they are as fractions and decimals, uh, and that will really help you understand decimals uh, just like any mathematician would. All right, Dividing Decimals. This is part one because these questions are actually easier. Okay, it's 12.5, 12 and 5 tenths is divided by 5. This is one way to express the division problem, working it straight across from left to right. One of the other ways to express it is the one that you might be more familiar with, which is in the house. Uh, quick and easy way to remember what number goes where. A little crisscross action, throw that in the house, and that one goes at the door. Okay? Next step, take your decimal point, pop it like it's hot, right up there. Then what you can do is actually just get rid of that decimal point and leave it up on the roof of the house right there. Okay, and pretend this problem is just 125 divided by 5. I'm not going to do the chant, although many of you know it, some of you don't, and I feel like that's not fair. We are going to cover up. Do we have enough? No. Make sure you put a zero on top here, not an X or anything like that. You don't have enough, back up. You have enough now. How many times does it go in? Call it out, please. Two is correct. What number goes down here? Ten is correct. Hook the line, subtract. Subtract, subtract, subtract. Two minus zero is two. I'm going to pull down that shade. Five goes into 25. How many times? Call it out, please. There you go. Five times. That should leave you with zero as your remainder, which means 12.5 divided by five gives you two and five tenths. Only issues you're going to have, pop it straight up, and then every number in the dividend must have a number above it in the quotient. If you do that and you keep your, your math neat and, and straight, you're going to have no problems with this. Okay? Let's try another one. Same num same digits, slightly different. Ah, look. 125 thousandths divided by 5. Crisscross. Next step. Go ahead, call out what you think the next step is. Did you say pop it like it's hot? Because you'd be right. Okay. Now, start covering up. Got enough? No. Back up. Got enough. Do you have enough? No, you don't. You have to back up again. 5 goes into 12. Call it out. How many times? 2. That's 10. We hook the line, subtract, and that's 2. Pull down the shade. Every time we pull down the shade, we have to count by 5. Don't pass up 25. How much is that, Kipsters? You're right. That's 5 times. No remainder again. The answer to this problem is Decimal point zero zero twenty five or twenty five ten thousandths. Okay? That's the deal. Just keep it neat. Now it's time to try one on your own. Okay, I'm going to guide you through it, but you must first solve it. So press pause on the tape now and solve this problem. When you're done, press play and see how you did. Press pause now, please. All right. If you're back, you're telling me that you did this problem. We're going to check it out. First step, crisscross. 0.344 should be in the house. 8 should be out of the house. Next step. What's the next step? Call it out, y'all. Did you pop it like it's hot? Nice job. All right. Now, do your division. Cover up. Got enough. No, you don't. Back up. Do you have enough now? Yes, you do. How many times does it go in? Four is correct. That'll put, get you 32 down here. Hook the line, subtract. Four minus two. Go ahead, call it out. That's two. Pull down the shade. You almost done. Eight goes into 24. How many times? Three is right. No remainder. If you got 0 .043 or 43 thousandths, you are correct. If you didn't, uh, just go ahead and watch the video again and get a little more practice or give me a call.
Now it's time for On Your Own. These are the five On Your Own problems I have for you. Please press pause on your tape now so that you can copy all of these down and solve them. Please make sure it's straight. Press pause now because this tape's about to end. Thanks again for watching.